Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're gonna be attacking Vengeance Spirits and finishing up chapter three. So, I hope you guys are ready. So, here we are yet again in some good old volcano block, and we have some more progression to do to finish up this chapter. And, and honestly, these I'm, I'm sort of cutting these videos in certain segments, so that way we can sort of split all of these things up into their individual parts. And I think today is going to be trying to complete the last bit, which is evil craft and sort of finishing this part up because the next chapter is probably going to be one of my favorites. I think, I hope, I, I don't actually know how much Batania has been changed, but Batania is one of my favorite mods. So, um, it's going to be quite interesting to see how we progress through this. And then also see over here, we start to get into the alchemistry mod which um, people may know from the actual Alchemistry mod pack made by the same developer, uh, the same pack dev as, uh, as this pack. So um, yeah, there's a whole pack uh, dedicated specifically to that mod, it seems like, to, for uh, early game resource gen. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're gonna be finishing this up. Also, somebody was asking um, in the comments why chapter one wasn't completed. It's just because they added this easier sticks quest here, and I guess I never clicked it. Um, it's just a self-click, uh, quest that I had to do, you know, pretty simple there. So we got most of this done. Let's start working on this right here. The promise of tranquility. Yes, this is going to be pretty simple. I've already done quite a bit of the hard work and that is just grinding out the blood. So my spawner is dead up there, by the way. Um, it has nothing left in it. Um, I do need to refill and get us a different spawner going. Um, at any point, we can always make a spawner pretty much of any mob type at this point, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, but let's go ahead and pop in here, pop into our crafting, and let's figure out what exactly we need to get this tier three um, blood infusion going. I've already made the strength two bowl of promise. Uh, we need to make the diamond promise right here. So it's a diamond block that goes inside this with blood filled to the max. So. Good old diamond block. We can throw that in here. And this is going to take a little bit of time, I do believe, um, in order to fill up. Of course, it is showing the blood there. There it goes. Showed a progress bar. Okay, I think it's just gonna take a long time. If we see any sort of progress bar, ah, it is working, okay. It wouldn't be making blood particles if it uh, wasn't actually working. There it goes. So yeah, that's going to take a little bit of time in order to produce. Um, until then, we can start working on a few other things um, that are going to be later on down the road in our future class. So such things as making a Yule Log, we can't really do this quite yet, but there are a few other things that we can make. So we know Dark Matter is something we're going to have to make a few of. Um, so we know we need Soul Sand. I've already got a bit of that produced. Um, and we're going to need to get into this. This is going to be later on down the road where we are going to make a Vengeance Force, a Piercing Vengeance Force. Um, because I think we're going to need to get collect Vengeance Spirits, uh, which is going to be something we have to do later on. But this whole recipe here, let's go ahead and add it, uh, it has a lot of complex things that we need to do. First, we need to make our the, the Vengeance Focus, which in itself is not that difficult. So let's go ahead and make that. Right? And then we can go ahead and make this, which needs the focus in here. There we go. So there's our, our vengeance focus for this. Um, the corrupt pixie in a bottle or in a, in a bottle block, it says right here in the tooltip, it says acquire by right clicking a bottle block with a corrupt pixie. So if we take a look at the pixie, we have a regular pixie and we also have a corrupt pixie. The Corrupt Pixie is the one that we are going to be taking a look at. And we see this also requires that Crystal Dust, uh, which you get that from making that Arcanus, which we need a Tier 3 uh, Blood Infuser for. Uh, but we have Dark Souls, and I think we can go ahead and get started on working on these Dark Souls. Uh, we need some Corrupty Dust, which requires Dark. Okay, so that we can't make, but we can work on this. A piece of Soul Sand, and then we have the fond memories. All right, so soul sand. 
one of those inside a furnace and that'll convert that over and then we need to make a golem so to make a golem I think we have some pumpkins right and it was pumpkin and wheat like that or pumpkin and straw and that'll make a spawn for the golem now if you place the golem and then you kill the golem it'll drop a golem corpse now the the, the bad part about this poor golem corpse is we're gonna throw the golem corpse down pick up our block here or try to do that let's go ahead and let's toss them here for example pick up our block place our block and that is going to give us golem meal yeah and it says I hope you feel really bad the other one said I hope you feel bad this one says I hope you feel really bad um, but this is going to be used for one thing you can make dirt with it um, but if you throw it in fire it's gonna give you fond memories so we throw it in some lava over here that's gonna turn into a good old fond memory just like that and this is going to be a crafting uh, ingredient that we're gonna have to use um, for our pixies as you can see here to make this soul um, and this is all in preparation let's see how far along this is it's almost done man oh man and this is what we want we want this to be almost done I also have some more blood stored up for some future crafts that we're gonna have to do but once we get this done this is gonna have an absurd amount of blood storage there we go so there's our promise piece and let's take a look we should have just about everything ready to go for this let's just make sure well, let's go ahead and scroll through here right here and there we go the promise of trin uh, or sorry I keep saying tranquility I'm reading it wrong um, uh, tenacity or ten some people are saying it's tenancy tenacity or ten yeah I think it's tenancy here I am saying things incredibly wrong again <laughs> this whole playthrough guys you guys have just been been on me for that anyways it's probably gonna continue all the way to the end so hopefully you stick through all that all that torture all right so now that that is done we now have a lot of blood storage we need to get in here so with evil craft I do have a few of these guys stored away and we'll go ahead and drain that in here 640 man buckets worth of, uh, of of this stuff it's quite a bit but we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with whatever we have right now I've been using these to fill it up basically going up there killing some mobs spending a little bit of time AFK and killing some more mobs as they build up it's a pretty good way of of getting all of these guys I keep forgetting you have to do this <laughs> there we go all right so now that we have that we have a little bit of blood stored in there we can go ahead and complete this and we get to choose something of our choice here um, I think the lamps might be a good choice so I think these lamps are actually light sources look how much better they look those are much prettier so yeah, these are just like decorative blocks really yeah we have a bit of them I think I might go around and decorate the rest of the base with those um, the congealed blood right here this can just be inserted into the machine and it converts into just to a tiny a little bit of blood all right so now is when we get into this crystal we're gonna need a lot of electric diamonds because this stuff is what produces our dust for us with the crushing each one makes two uh, but electric diamonds are not that easy to get uh, we need diamonds but we also need um, let's see blaze rods and I don't think there's a very convenient way we can use blood to convert these into blaze rods but that's not the most convenient way to do this um, getting a blaze spawner would be nice also bits of lava you can convert as well into blaze 
So this actually not a hard recipe to do right here. So making bit uh, bit of lava sand. That's actually a reasonable way to make blaze rods. So there we go. That's probably the best way to make blaze rods. Um, I think we have a diamond in here. Or we did. So we still don't have it. But we do need diamond. I might have to open some more geodes. And blaze rods. And the reason we need all this is because we're going to throw this into the atomic calculator. And we have to make a few fire diamonds. And those fire diamonds are going to be converted in here. And if there is power built up, it'll just convert them automatically. And then it'll give us electric diamonds, right? And I think that's all it wants is electric diamonds. We don't have to go any further than that. And we just literally throw that in here. Now, it is going to require 3,000 blood per. So we, have to, we will have to keep that in mind. But that is going to get us our arcane crystal. And that's what we're going to be working with. So once you have a healthy supply of the Arcanus, um, we are going to break these down. Because I don't think this has really any other use. Um, we can make more weather stations. I would say this is not necessary. Um, but you can use them to make the weather stations. Um, but we can throw them in a rotary grinder or we can use a crushing block. I think the crushing block is going to be way faster. Gives you the exact same amount. And there we go. So yeah. This is going to be a better way, I think, of doing it. And now we have this dust, so we get to spend a little bit of time making a few things. Oh, look. We get some more building blocks. I think the base blocks look really good. Because these have a nice texture to them. We're probably going to get all these blocks, so I'm just going to go ahead as we go through, and we'll collect them. We'll use them for something else later on, maybe. All right. So let's start talking about the dark matter and how we're going to get it through this Edelwood log. Um, so this actually has like a little bit of backstory, if you guys may know. Post it down in the comments uh, where this Edelwood log references or what it's referencing. Uh, but we need to make some of this. So let's go ahead and throw that into our side bin over here by hitting A while hovering over it. And we're going to see that we can make a few of these. Now it tells us to make three of them that it's wanting. So I'm assuming three is what the amount we're going to need, at least for right now. Um, and then we just smelt them. There's our, our soul, by the way, that we needed earlier. So we just smelt these down. And that's going to lead us into this vengeance focus that I said was going to take a little bit to get. Um, and we also need to work on some other things. Um, Prismarine is something that we do not have right now. But if you take a look, it doesn't really tell you exactly how to get Prismarine. But if we take a deeper look at Prismarine itself, we can see right here we have coring recipes from Hearthwell that we can use um, the Verdant Core or the Verdant Core to make um, Prismarine. And then we can grind the Prismarine down. We're going to need ice. And if you remember how we got ice previously um we should be able to handle this i think um and of course ice blocks are going to be a little bit different to make but we'll figure it out as we go all right so we got that completed of course that's going to say here's our reward we'll grab a couple more of those all right so we get into this it says collect the corrupt pixie in a bottle um item required to craft the quest it says place a bottle block from Forbidden Arcanus, then right click it with a corrupt pixie. So that's telling us exactly what the tooltip tells you right here in order to complete this. Um, we have a few things that we can complete before we get into making um, the other stuff. So let's take a look here. Uh, we already have that ready to go. We need to make this, two of those. And we already have the Corrupt. We just need to make Prismarine. And then we need to make this uh, bottle. So. Right here. It's called a bottle block. We'll keep that in our inventory. Because we're going to have to actually craft something in world with that. Um, so, Prismarine. Let's see what we 
we need exactly for the um, the core. Turf blocks from that requires this. That's pretty simple. And we need seeds and imprisoned light, which we do have. So that's not going to be too bad. We'll grab a couple of those. And there's the shard. So let's take this back a bit. And we should be able to look up the hearth well. So here is the freezer that we're going to need to make the ice. So we don't have a, a good way of picking it up. And then we're going to need our power crystal. And a bucket. So, like, this is taking us back a little bit from where we just was. Um, and I'm trying to think of a good way to set this up. You're not always guaranteed to get ice through this method. Um, I think if I set the core over here... So I set the core next to this. We can have a core stabilizer. I'll go ahead and grab you. We'll make sure to place the core stabilizer somewhere near this. So we'll have that here. On any of these sides, ice should be produced. Um, so we can put the stabilizer here. Put that there. And that should work. And then we just kind of block it up the rest of the way. Alright, and then make sure our crystal is nearby, which we can honestly just put the crystal here. And that is going to be perfect. It's going to run off that power. Grab a bucket of water. And if that turns into ice, that should function. Now, I don't know how it's going to work, if it's going to break the ice. That is something I'm kind of curious to see. But yeah, this does take a little bit of time. It has a chance of turning it into snow as well. So if it turns into snow, we'll just have to replace it and try again. So I'll be back once this is done. So here's where we get into this. When we place this here, I did go ahead and add some more blocks here. It might just delete the... Oh, it picks the blocks up. So that's great. Because if it does this, we have a better chance of getting it to convert like that. Perfect. Awesome. So, with that, we now have the prismarine. Of course, we throw that to a grinder and that will get us four. We only need three. So, it's pretty nice that this is allowing us to do that. Um, so, we can go ahead and throw that in there. Let's grab... Some more of that, that dust. I ended up farming so much of this stuff. It's kind of crazy how much I actually have. I probably should process some more. Once that's... I should probably process all of this, to be honest. Probably, uh... Less than a stack of that would probably get through all this. Throw that in there. And we'll throw this in here. Awesome. So there's our prismarine. That's exactly what we needed in order to complete this crafting recipe. I'm super happy about this. Alright, so last but not least, we need to get our pixie. And we remembered that this requires a little bit of work. Um, so, let's go ahead and make the pixie. We need this corrupted dust, which requires an ender pearl that is broken down. And that makes some of that dust. Perfect. Last but not least... We can make a Dark Soul. And we are left with the ability to make a Pixie. So, feathers. Uh, that might be something that we have to kill birds for. Or chickens. Um, let's see. Is that something we can make? I think we can. Compressed wool. So we can do compressed wool in an animal core obtained by growing an inert seed. You must stay near it. Okay, so... Inert seed. So that's something new. From Hearthwell. So we can obtain this core...
Oh, I see what it is. It literally is just getting larger. Look at that. It's slowly but surely growing. And so that'll allow us to get the feathers we need. That's not bad. Right? Feathers come from a plumage block. Comes from a coring recipe. Shard and that. Very interesting. So once these things are fully crafted and fully uh, grown up, they look kind of creepy. Those are eyeballs. Um, yeah. Anima core, which makes total sense, like animation core. Um, but that's exactly what that is referencing. Creepy, man. Super creepy. Alright, let's go ahead and place this back. We're going to place this here. We also need that, was it wool? Um, so string. We have tons of that from all the spiders that I've killed. Oh, here I am making wool wrong. So nine of those will make a compressed version. And that compressed wool, uh, with our... Shard of Born Might should be able to convert this into a feather block for us. These always take just a little bit of time. That is so creepy. The eye rolling around. There it goes. So, there we go. Now we have some feathers. Perfect, and that means we should be able to make our pixie. Voila, corrupt pixie. We hit that on this bottle, and that's what we get by doing so. We can now pick that up, get some creepy sounds going on around us, which probably not related at all to the bottle, but still, we can make our piercing vengeance focus. Now, I don't exactly know... It says right-click to enable Vengeance Spirit's Killing Beam. Oh. The, text, like, the texture change is so cool where it opens up. Okay, so this kills Vengeance Spirits, apparently. So let's take a look at her quests. Now that it talks about this. Let's talk about this next quest. It doesn't really give you much, but it does say Vengeance Essence. Um, which I don't know much about. We get a Vengeance Pickaxe. I think this spawns in Vision. Vengeance spirits. Box, uh, okay. Contains a vengeance spirit. Potions of weakness and crush dark. But I think this pickaxe spawns them. Let's see if we can't make this pickaxe. Do we and see if we have everything for it. I don't know. Uh, undead planks. I don't think we can get undead planks. So we're kind of lost on that one. Right? Can we make an undead sapling? We can. Uh, bush. Which I think that one is just a sapling in a drying basin. Or there was another way, wasn't there? Um. There was another way. Oh, I guess this doesn't leave water. I thought it would leave, like, residual water in there. Anyways, that's how we're going to get it. Grows an undead tree. And I think we can use this as well. Yeah, you can get blood from these logs. So that's a pretty decent way of getting more blood as well. Alright, so now that we have that. Undead sapling. And we can go ahead and grow it. Actually, let's go ahead and get... food on me. 
And let's see if that grows. Wow, that grows real quick. And then that is going to fall. All right. So that made that made the wood we needed. It didn't. It didn't give us a sapling though. Unfortunately. But this is this is going to get us the wood we need. Perfect. That should be enough. So let's go ahead and make that. Vengeance pickaxe. Did I not just make the undead planks? Oh no, I, yeah, I have them. Okay, never mind. They have to be in the inventory. I always forget that. And we need this. So bucket. In there, that should dry that up real quick for us. You gotta, you gotta love some of these mechanics, though. They're absolutely hilarious. Like I just I love some of this stuff. All right, so I don't, I don't know this one. Garmon Boza, Garma Boza. Oh, I was not supposed to do that. That turns it back into blood. I forget you gotta put that in your inventory after you get it. But yeah, this with that curse of vengeance, I think that spawns them in. Vengeance spirits. I mean, if not, we do have this option, which we can make these. It'll be a little bit more difficult to make, because we do need a weakness potion. Um, which we could make. Isn't this how we get blood shards? Smelting. I thought there was a... I thought I, thought I was missing something. Let's go ahead and grab that. And I mean, this comes with... What does this come with? Fortune? My goodness, this comes with Fortune 5. So, I mean, for what it is... I mean, it is pretty nice. Let's grab, like, diamond and emerald out of here. Even lapis and redstone. I've still been using geos. I haven't even had to do much of this. And I guess we'll see, while we're breaking these, if we can get that thing to spawn. There we go. Wow. Diamonds for the win. Anything spawning yet? Nope. So I wonder... Oh, there it is. There is, there was one. I don't know how this is supposed to work, to be honest. I'm assuming that will kill them. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so, uh, since we know that we can spawn them inside the box, let's go ahead and get a brewing stand. And we'll just make some potions. In here. So we have our bottles. And then we'll need nether wart. That is how you make any potion. Alright, and what potion was this? Vengeance. We needed two potions of weakness. So really, so we need a fermented spider eye. 
Um, but this says directly on water bottles. I thought you had to put them into awkward potions. Hmm. These are awkward potions. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess water bottles work. So fermented spider eyes. Some we're gonna have to do. Um, mushrooms. There we go. I guess that's what gonna work. I think I made extra bottles. These are all awkward potions. Fermented spider eye. And that should get us what we need. We should have obsidian as well. So, vengeance here, and we have, I think we have enough crushed. Yes, the crushed dark gem. We have totally enough of that. Obsidian, and we need to make an ender chest. Perfect. All right, ender chest on its way. That's the weakness potion we needed. And right here. So this box contains the spirit. Uh, can we place it down? Vengeance spirit. I thought you were able to place these down. Oh. Is that not killing it? Whoa, that's trippy. That is super trippy. So after trying everything I could to get one to spawn, I finally made another box after even going through a pick. This actually summoned three of them with this pick. Um, I was able to finally get that <laughs> essence I needed. Finally. Um, so yeah, I read in the book, it, it kind of explains it you know, quite well towards the end of the book. Um, you do have to go all the way, all the way to the end, um, in which it talks about all the stuff we're actually about to make. So. You can see right here, this even shows you how our final crafting is going to occur. Um, we're going to need some more crushed dark gems and some things like that, but I'm super glad that I was able to get that. Man, I hope I don't have to go after more of those because that's going to take a long time. So, uh, we have a few dark gems. I'm going to need eight of them. Of course, they need to be crushed down. So we can go ahead and get those crushed. Look at all of that goodness, man. We have tons of this, um, this energy on stuff, dust. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this ready to go. We are almost done. I think the last thing I need is I'm going to need a bit more blood in here. Luckily, I can go ahead and, and at this point, um, there is a sword from Evilcraft. I think it's the Vein Sword. That allows me to get more blood um, for, you know, more bang for the buck, basically, with that sword. Um, it is only going to cost me a little bit of blood for it. Not too much. Luckily, we can use this infuser to get that. Not going to be too bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and slaughter some more mobs, and I'll be back. So, currently, I am just getting us up to the current amount of blood that we needed. So, I went ahead and just filled the rest of these up. There we go. And that right there should be more than enough. We only need 50 for this. Let's go ahead and craft this using our Vengeance Spirit. And last but not least, all we got to do is place that bad boy in here. And I believe just give it some time because that should be all it needs. Yep, a little bit of time. And that's going to make our Gamma or our Garmon Boza, Garmon Boza uh, thing. Pain and Sorrow. Um, I guess that's what that's translated to. Um, but I see that that is going to be used later on. I was kind of looking to see what that was used for, and it's used for this. It's going to make the end seed, which is from Hearthwell, 
which I'm assuming makes a in-portal-ish type thing, so we can travel to the end. That is going to be really interesting, but we're not going to get into that today. That is going to be something we have to do next episode. All we're waiting on today is to be able to complete Chapter 3. And honestly, this whole end part, just a lot of different crafting recipes, a lot of finishing up blood magic, and I mean, that's all it really took for us to finish this up. I did learn a lot about blood magic actually reading the book. Um, I think if I was to play this pack again or go through uh, blood magic again, I would know way more tips on how to acquire blood a lot quicker. Um, instead of doing it the old fashioned way like I was, which is literally just killing mobs over and over again. Uh, and standing there in AFK waiting for them to build up. I would instead use some of the tools they provide in here to acquire blood a lot quicker. Um, definitely would. So, there we go. Last quest complete. And we get to choose our last one. Which I'm going to go for more lamps instead of this, this stone here. I'm going to go for the lamps. I do like the lamps a lot better. So, with that done, we have now pretty much completed it. Minus the starch extractor. I mean, honestly... That is something that is out of our way um, and really wasn't needed. We'll probably go back and I'll just complete it just to get the quest fully completed. But what we're going to be doing next is getting ourselves into Batania. So, which is going to start with a book and a sapling. This is the start to everything Batania. It's going to get us a Lexica Batania. And there we go, guys. Lexica Batania for the win. One of my favorite mods. Absolutely love Batania. So guys, we are going to be getting into this next episode. So I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it, guys. I will see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>